State Superintendent Ryan Walters testified to a U.S. House Committee on China's influence in our schools. Walters called out Tulsa Public Schools, claiming they received funds from the Chinese government. Today, he doubled down on that claim in front of Congress. Our Capitol reporter Haley Wager explains. Calling it a pressing and deeply concerning issue, State Superintendent Ryan Walters testified in front of the U.S. House on possible Chinese influence in schools. The Chinese government actively set up schools both in higher education and K-12 with the institution to spread communism and undermine the United States. Walters called out Tulsa Public Schools specifically, but didn't provide much proof during his testimony. Through a series of CCP-affiliated nonprofits, that school district maintains an active connection with the CCP through a program called the Confucius Classrooms. Democratic Representative Grijalva pointed out that Walter's testimony focused a lot on the influence of outside funding on the education system, questioning him about consistency. Are you aware that uh, PragerU, the non-accredited education site for which you just announced a partnership, has received millions of dollars from the same, from oil and gas interests, and that's okay? They promote American values and support our history without okay. indoctrination. Yes, sir. So much for consistency. Yield back. Other Democrats argued this could result in a negative perception of Chinese citizens. Instead, we can and should discuss how to provide students with an inclusive, accurate, and well-funded education without promoting conspiracy theories, fear-mongering, or fueling anti-Asian uh, American discrimination. Calling it a national security concern, Walters called on Congress to take action. Pass a law to ban schools from accepting money from hostile foreign governments. He's also urging Congress to require districts to report any foreign funds or nonprofit money accepted, like Oklahoma voted to require during their last state board meeting. Hopefully we can take actions as they've done in Oklahoma and across the nation of what they've done to, to counteract and realize that this is happening. In a statement, Tulsa Public Schools said contrary to accusations, the district takes no funds from the Chinese government and has no Confucius classroom programs in its schools. For Oklahoma Zone, I'm Haley Wager.